Ben. It is now in order to consider amendment number two, printed in part C of House Report 118-656. For what purpose does the gentleman from Minnesota seek recognition? Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I rise today to offer my amendment, H.R. 1516. The gentleman will, will suspend. Does the gentleman have an amendment at the desk? I'm sorry, I, uh, Mr. Chair, I do have an amendment at the desk. The clerk will designate the amendment. Amendment number two, printed in Part C of House Report number 118-656, offered by Mr. Stauber of Minnesota. Pursuant to House Resolution 1430, the gentleman from Minnesota, Mr. Stauber, and a member opposed will each control five minutes. The chair recognizes the gentleman from Minnesota. Thank you for your uh, patience, Mr. Chair. I rise today to offer my amendment, H.R. 1516, which would amend the definition of, quote, Chinese entity of concern, end quote, in Section 2 to account for the persecution of Uyghur Muslims in the People's Republic of China. Over the past decade, Communist China has persecuted the Uyghur population for their religious and cultural practices. Xinjiang authorities have detained Uyghurs in inter internment camps without formal charges, forced them into slave labor, and have committed numerous other human rights abuses against the Uyghur people. It is estimated that over one million Uyghur and other ethnic minorities have been imprisoned in internment camps in China. Academics in China have aided in the persecution of Uyghurs as well. Wohingan and Huli Anghi are considered to be advocates for forced assimilation of minorities to create a state race. Huingan heads the Institute for Contemporary China Studies at Tsinghua University. Hu He, another university researcher, is already on the global, uh, global section of the human rights sanctions list. Yet, Yale University boasts a strong relationship with Tsinghua University on their website. Harvard University signed a memorandum of understanding with Tsinghua University in 2021. And the University of Pennsylvania has Tsinghua University listed on their website as a partner. There's no reason why our university should be complicit in religious persecution. We may have arg hear arguments today that the definition is already too broad and that the underlying legislation will inadvertently hinder our research apparatus. However, this amendment and the underlying legislation are necessary to stop the soft power influence China is exerting on our universities. Throughout the past year, we have seen firsthand how Iran's influence on higher education has turned college campuses into breeding grounds for anti-Semitism. We must prevent our most malicious foreign adversaries from continuing to undermine academia. The underlying legislation does well to address communist China's influence and espionage in our higher institutions of learning. But we, we, but we, but we can go to ste a step further to address communist China's crime against the Uyghur people. We should all agree that higher education's willingness to look the other way is unacceptable. We must act, and I encourage all of my colleagues to vote for my amendment and the underlying legislation. Thank you, Mr. Chair, and I yield back. The gentleman, gentleman reserve or yield? A reserve. The gentleman reserves. Does anyone in opposition to the amendment seek recognition? Seeing none, the gentleman from Minnesota is recognized. I'm prepared to close. I, want, I would suggest uh, voting for this amendment. It's a good amendment. Uh, the Uyghur people uh, should not be held captive uh, whatsoever, and the religious persecution by the Chinese, uh, the people uh, of the Communist country of China, must stop. Does the gentleman yield? I, I yield. The gentleman yields. The question is on the amendment offered by the gentleman from Minnesota. Those in favor say aye. aye. Those opposed say no. In the opinion of the chairs, the ayes have it. The amendment is agreed to.